office and the computer's way we wouldn't even have internet. He gets very upset when I borrow his USB disks and that. But uh, yeah, thanks, that's quite insightful. We actually have this uh, internal like internet. We actually use a Microsoft program that allows us to send personal messages to each other. Each week Jackson updates us with some new horrific attack. But anyway, uh, so the lunch which we're hosting today was co-sponsored by one of our suppliers, uh, HMS, HMS Industrial Networks. It's a company that we've been with for, I think we're about 15, 15, just over 15 years now. Uh, quite a unique company. Uh, I suppose if you look at the whole industry for IoT, uh, the main concept behind it is connecting machines, connecting different systems all together, and that's what they've been doing for 20 or so years. So a very unique company, they've got some very cool products. And I'd like to take a couple of minutes just to take you through some of their different offerings and uh, yeah, before we jump on. So HMS Industrial Networks uh, started off about 15 years ago with the Anybus brand. Uh, Anybus mainly including gateways that convert between different types of protocols or languages. Um, soon after they acquired Exit, NetBiter and E1 itself. I'll briefly take you through these different brands itself. So the Anybus brand consists of four main components. Embedded components allows you to integrate uh, their hardware and software components into your machines, your drives, your instruments, that will give an industrial communication connection to your different machines themselves. Uh, there's a couple of different modules which we'll jump through. They have a wireless section, a couple of unique wireless products, Anybus communicators, and Anybus X gateways basically converting between those industrial protocols. So with Anybus embedded, um, they possibly have an integrated ASIC, integrated BRIC, where you would have your own sort of communication port or interface. Or even if you want to do the development for multiple different protocols, so you have one drive that can connect to ProfitBus, ProfitNet, many of the other protocols that was discussed in Michael's presentation earlier, you can get the module that allows you to start in and out depending on what your custom orders for them itself. Anybus X Gateway converts between multiple different industrial networks. Uh, I think they have over a thousand different configurations of gateways itself. Uh, going onto the HMS website, they have a nice gateway selector that allows you to decide between what protocol you would like to communicate. A couple of examples here yeah, is Modbus, Profinet, Profibus, ASI, Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, so on and so forth. The gateway can act as a master and a slave on either side of the network, depending on what your application may be. Any bus communicator, probably our <coughs> most uh, commonly sold product and common application itself connects serial devices, including Modbus RS-232, 485, and 422, to most of the common industrial Ethernet and field bus protocols themselves. Anybus Wireless is something that's come up over the past, the past four years and has become quite a, quite a popular product in the Anybus range itself. It consists of a, a couple of uh, unique products. The Anybus Wireless bolts are probably the first in this range are, yes, we do, bought it on the other side. So the Anybus Wireless Bolts has a nice form factor where you can actually chill a hole in the side of your machine. I can give you an example of that. We have a generator in our offices, and um, there's a net part which you, I'll tell you about in a minute, uh, which needs an internet connection. So this device connects into our wireless lab in our office, mounts it to the side, and creates an IP67 connection. That has a range of about 100 meters or so, but very useful to connect movable machines around your plants, as well as connecting different components, especially in higher IP rated areas. Wireless bridges connecting industrial um, Ethernet networks up to about 400 meters, I think. And then quite a new range that they released in the first quarter now is the um, wireless LAN routers that allows you to connect multiple of your machines across the pond to a central point itself. A couple of alternative products that have in the Anybus range would be the Ethernet IP linking devices. Uh, linking devices work in a similar fashion to the X gateways and the Anybus communicators. The only difference is if you have confidence in programming the uh, Rockwell products and you're a lot more comfortable in Rockwell's PLC programming software, you can configure these devices directly with your RS logics and software itself and not have to use a separate type of program, programming interface and such. A couple of uh, power grid and smart energy type gateways converting between some of the uh, substation protocols such as IC 61 50 Building automation is a segment that they started to expand to as well. Uh, Backnet, KNX, 
long works, all types of protocols that control our lighting, have access systems and that throughout the network. Uh, these gateways allow you to connect into industrial networks, so connecting into your PLC and controlling plants, as well as your ERP type systems is definitely a possibility. And uh, maybe something for the new industry or IoT type uh, offering itself would be the .NET gateways. Uh, which allows you to connect industrial networks such as Profibus and Profinet uh, into your c -sharp or .NET framework uh, programs itself to transfer information between your IT systems and your OT systems. So, <clears throat> after they purchased Exit, Exit is a specialist company that deals with cam based protocols. Uh, some of the products which they offer is CAM PC interfaces, which could include possibly a USB to CAM converters or direct PCI slots. CAN PLC extensions uh, integrated directly with the Siemens uh, PLC uh, SA7 type offerings. CAN components that have a couple of repeaters, IO modules, uh, modules designed to get CAN from one point to another, as well as some analysis uh, and configuration diagnostic tools, which include software and hardware components. With the CAN PLC extensions, two main offerings they have an uh, extension card for the S7 1200 PLCs that allows you to communicate your S7 1200 PLC directly with the CAN of the network. And then a slot in module to integrate with the ET stations on a coffee bus network that can also connect the CAN open devices directly to the network. So very useful if you if you want to expand your, your network into a CAN open offering as well, CAN open machinery. PC interfaces uh, can be expanded between CAN, CAN open, CAN MD itself as well. Some of the CAN components, um, they have a couple of I.O. modules which are ruggedized. Uh, this is quite a unique device. It's a Bluetooth to CAN uh, gateway, which allows you to either connect to your CAN machines using a mobile, uh, bring your own device, a uh, tablet or cell phone or something along those lines, or else to link two CAN networks together where you cannot run cables where possible. I think we've used this in a scenario in a port where they had to get CAN up to a crane which was movable itself. And this device is actually, it's quite a cool device, it's called the CANET Net. And what it does is it allows you to transfer CAN signals, whether it's uh, standard CAN open or CAN FD, and you can transfer it on your standard office Ethernet. So it just wraps your CAN messages in a TCP packet, and then you can transfer it much longer distances uh, across different sections of your plant. It also allows you to couple between CAN and CAN FD uh, systems. Analysis and configuration, they have a couple of software and hardware components that allow you to get your CAN networks configured and up and running, as well as running in a healthy state as such. The E1 brand, I'm not going to touch into too much detail because there's a couple of presentations which go on it. Um, there was a couple of cool demos at the back, so I think mean, once we finish with lunch, it would be great if you come and join me and my colleagues and would love to show you some of the applications and products that we deal with. Uh, but E1 basically allows you to take um, some industrial protocols and communication languages such as Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, as well as CAN-based protocols. They've also now incorporated Ethernet IP into the unit and it transfers bits of information in those systems to a cloud-based service uh, for display anywhere where you have an internet connection itself. You can also use it for remote access, so it a, creates a VPN tunnel between your laptop sitting in your office and with a PLC email on site. Yeah, I'm going to hand over to my colleague Jerry, she'll take you through some of the success stories we've had in the past. Thank you very much.